from the Star Wars figure review. Uh, next video we're going to take a look at one of the figures from the Disney Store Elite Series Premium line. And that is this one here. This is Princess Leia. But before we look at her, we'll take a look at the packaging this one comes in. As you can see, it's the giant display box variant that the Elite Series Premium figures have had before. And of course, being not connected with Rogue One, it is the red backdrop rather than the blue one that the other ones have had. So it's pretty much the same as Darth Vader, with the same kind of thing. And all the same little details there. And on the back you have the pictures of the accessories and some of the little features the figure includes. And of course the bio on the back, which I shall read to you now. It says, Princess Leia Organa was one of the Rebel Alliance's greatest leaders. Fearless on the battlefield and dedicated to ending the tyranny of the Empire. Daughter of Padme Amidala and Anakin Skywalker. Sister of Luke Skywalker and with a soft spot for scoundrels. Leia ranks among the galaxy's greatest heroes. Yeah, that's the packaging again. Same thing there, nothing much about it. It's going to go straight to the bin after I've done this review anyway. So, let's now look at the figure itself. Uh, this is one of my actual favourite figures of this line. I avoided it when I initially saw it, but um, coming back to it later, I genuinely like the physical look of it, having, look, having given the figure more of a look at and seeing as the prices have been going well down in preparation for The Last Jedi. I figured, you know what, I'll buy this because, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'll give you a zoom in on the facial sculpt that the figure has. Now that is a much closer resemblance to Carrie Fisher that I've seen before. And if you are on a hunt for getting a big layer figure, but you can't afford the Hot Toys variant, like me, you can't afford the Hot Toys variant, get this one. It's just it's so much cheaper if you can find it because a lot of them are being kind of not sold in Disney stores anymore because they're prepping for Last Jedi. But if you do find it, do buy it because it's worth it's worth an addition to your collection. I'm gonna zoom back out from it. There we go, from there. Of course some of the accessories you get included, you get the uh, Stormtrooper E11 blaster rifle included with the figure. But it's not the only blaster you get, you also get Leia's Defender Sporting Blaster Pistol, which she wields at the start of episode four and you can switch out that for the for this in the film. In the hands. Just give me a sec. There was a change of stance. There we go. It's Princess Leia with the Defender sporting blaster pistol that she owns, but is obviously confiscated by the Imperials when she's captured. Actually, there we go. I also like the little details like on the on the gown that they've been given, like there's, a, there's those little uh, creases underneath the belt and there's like the bits forward here and also the hood on the back, uh, of course you can put the hood up but um, which does fit nicely over the figure but one little problem with it is there's a hole in the back and the reason that is is because the main costume is actually removable from the figure and the, whole hood, the hood on the hole is probably to make it easier to get off, unless, or it's probably like for the manufacturers to make it easier to get on when they were packaging the figure, but I'm not going to do any of that because this is a review of the figure, not the whole thing and of course you get two extra hands with the figures, because as you can see one hand is sort of out holding, while one hand is gripped for the gun you do get uh, another hand that's designed to grip for the gun and another one that is more open out because that was the way the figure was when I bought it, was the figures was actually both of um, these hands were on the figure, so I kind of had to switch it out with this one to get the um, the full, to get, to get the figure to be able to hold the uh, weapons. I'm just going to go to the Stormtrooper Blaster again. Of course this is uh, Luke's Stormtrooper Blaster really, but of course she borrows it. And most people seem to display with it anyway. I like to, dis I, like to I, I do display this one with the uh, Plastics that display the uh, Black Series variant with the uh, Defender Sporting Blaster Pistol, so it's fair that I give this one the Stormtrooper Blaster. I do, because the likeness of this one is much closer to Carrie Fisher, it's often the better one to get, seeing as, I, well, you're all aware, like now, everyone knows now, but it's a nice little, because this one actually came out before the passing of Carrie Fisher, so, um, but still I think this is a better one to get, and just because of the amount of detail, even the hair. It's not sculpted on like um, like Director Krennic. Director Krennic, the hair is just kind of molded on the figure. That's all plastic. Whereas um, for Princess Leia, they've actually used some kind of fabric for the hair instead. I think they've like used thread 
or something like that to make it that that little bit of detail that makes it even better than it already is. There we go. So yeah, in a rundown of the articulation, you have a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, double joints at the elbows, ball hinged wrists, ball hinged torso, which is not really there we go, ball hinged torso, ball hinged hips. You can, you can do the splits, swivels at the thighs, uh, double joints at the knees, uh, ball hinge in a joint, ball joint in a hinge at the ankles, and the weird uh, foot movement that most of these elite use period figures seem to do, which is. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just a little bit weird to see. So yeah, I can't recommend this figure enough as I already have. I'll leave a link to where it is available. It is available on show in the Disney store in the description below, but I doubt it's going to be coming back in stores very very soon. But if you rush to Disney stores soon, you'll probably find them on clearance now because they are available at low low prices. Because basically, the stores are trying to get rid of it before. The last Jedi merchandise launches next month, so get in there and grab it while you can. But yeah, that is Princess Leia from the Elite Series Premium, probably, probably my favourite one out of all of them. Just out of the mind, I'll put the hood back up for a sec so you can see that again. Comes down. Hold on a minute. There we go. So that is. Princess Leia from Elite Series Premium. I hope you enjoyed looking at that. And please uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And do comment if you can. And do follow me on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All links are down there in the description. I'll see you next time guys.